Hello, my name is Andrew. We have a lot of clients that use our products to digitise and store their supplier invoices, so I thought it would be a good idea to put together a series of short videos showing how scan to PDF can be configured for that purpose. This video looks at the simplest sort of solution we have, which is ideal when you have less than 100 invoices a month and you want them stored electronically. So let's have a quick look at how the supplier invoices are filed. So here you can see we have a folder called supplier invoices on the D drive, which contains PDFs for each month of the year. So if you want to look at a stored supplier invoice for, let's say, June 2014, you just open the PDF. And then we're going to scroll down the thumbnails until we find the invoice that we were looking for. So now let's have a look at how we are going to create these PDFs. So over to the Scan to PDF program and we can either scan directly from your scanner or if you don't have a scanner you can use your camera or your phone to take photos of the invoices and then copy them into a folder. So just to speed up the demo, I'm going to import some images of my supplier invoices from a folder. So import from folder. And there we have our invoices. So now I'm going to tell the system which month and year these invoices belong to. So we're now in March of 2015. Click OK and we should then see a PDF being created in the supplier invoices folder and there it, there it appears. Now any additional supplier invoices we have for March 2015 these can easily be added to the existing PDF. So let's just so use the scanner. I'm going to scan a single document. Let the scanner warm up. You can probably hear it in the background. Up comes the image and it's defaulted to the last month and year I was using, which is just saves a bit of time. Click OK. And now that last invoice will have been added to the last page of the March 2015 PDF. Next, I'm going to give you a quick look at the settings behind the scan to PDF program. So if you're not using a scanner, then the import folder is where you would drop your pictures of the invoices. So these are the images captured using your camera or your phone camera. If we look in the file name settings, here you can configure the output path, the folder, drive name of the PDF files you're going to create. And within the documents indexing plugin, this is where we construct the data entry window. So in this example, we've entered the month and the year but we can configure quite complex data entry screens using, using these menus. So I hope that's given you an overview of a very straightforward solution to scanning and storing your supplier invoices. There's a full download available over at scantpdf.com and I'll put up a link at the end of this video to the page that downloads available from. So thank you for watching and hope you find this useful.